A Fairfax County ninth grader won top honors to be named 3M's top young scientist. At just 14 years old, he developed soap that can treat skin cancer. Heyman McKayla joins us now live from Woodson High School. Heyman, good morning and my goodness, congratulations. Are you still in disbelief? Is it still a pinch me moment? <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so <laughs> nice to be here. And yeah, it's still crazy. It's so, so surreal to even think about it right now. So, so let me ask you, when you first uh, entered this competition, uh, why did you decide to participate in the first place? Did you have in mind what you were going to submit or do? Yeah, so when I started out trying for the 3M Young Scientist Challenge, I was just looking for a fun science experiment and a nice guidance for my process because the 3 m Young Scientist Challenge actually provides you with a basic roadmap of how you should get your work done and mm. it seemed really fun in total but as I continued to move on with the process I realized that it's a lot more than just a basic science project it's actually really fun and in its own way gave me a lot of different platforms to express my creativity and my innovation and so that was the main reason why I continued on with the 3 m Young Scientist Challenge and why I chose it. What was, uh, how long was the process and what would you say was the most difficult part of all of it? So when it comes to the initial process of the entry video, it took about eight months for me to create wow. the idea, a basic prototype, and the video. And I think throughout the whole process, the best part or the most, the best part was definitely finally pressing the submit button and seeing all of my work compiled in one video. Mm. And I think the most difficult part was probably creating that first prototype because that was still a really long time ago from now, and I remember it being so, so difficult to get a bar of soap that didn't just melt immediately, yeah. and it would actually look really nice for an entry video as well. So, so that was really difficult. Let's talk about what you submitted. Talk, talk to me about this bar of soap. How does it work, um, and, and where it goes from here? Yeah, so SCTS is a compound-based bar of soap. It's charged with cancer-fighting chemicals like imidazoquinolines to help treat the skin. As of right now, I'm planning on further commercializing SCTS, and by 2028, I hope to turn SCTS into a nonprofit organization where I can provide equitable and accessible skin cancer treatment to as many people as possible. You know, when I, hey man, when I see uh, uh, someone like you, I, I wonder, you had to have had people who poured into you, who believed in you. Um, for parents watching and kids watching, what would you say has contributed, and I say this with you being 14 years old, has contributed to, to your success? Yeah, so I think more than anything, I've had an amazing support system throughout this entire process, whether it be my teachers here at Fairfax County or the mentors provided to me from the 3M Young Scientist Challenge or just my parents and friends. I've had so, so many people and I thank them all so much for yeah. the whole process. I'm curious, what would you say was, is your favorite invention in the last 100 years, let's say? Ooh, probably the digital camera. It's just, it's really cool how Within the last 100 years, they've been able to find a really timeless invention where yeah. you take a picture and it can come out, it can be printed, and you can see, you can keep memories that you would have never been able to. I think I, it's just so cool how I'm able mm. to just snap a picture on my phone and I can see it back a year from now, 10 years from now, and that's just so, so, so cool. I, I have a feeling that we'll be uh, crediting one of your inventions as one of the greatest in, in our time, certainly in the future. <laughs> we are so, so proud of you and um, I'm, continued success. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you so much for having me. That is uh, Heyman Bekele uh, joining us as the top young scientist in the country at just uh, 14 years old. Steve. Unbelievable. Congratulations. Job well done. I'm with him on the digital camera, the smartphone maybe, things that uh, will be remembered for a very long time.